The rise of neo-Nazism in America is alarming. Unprecedented numbers of American teenage youths are being recruited into divisions of neo-Nazism via social media, like Twitter, Facebook, and online chat rooms, and other digital sources like video game servers. This is Brandon. He's an American teen and is at the prime age to be influenced by said neo-Nazi groups. There's nothing really outstanding about him. He's tech-savvy, like most kids his age, and since he's currently attending school, you would think he would know better than to take part in anything related to neo-Nazis, especially after learning about the Holocaust and the horrors it brought in school. Except, the Holocaust has never been mentioned in school. And this brings us to our main problem. World War II and the Holocaust happened more than 70 years ago. Though many people proclaim to never forget, it is fading quickly out of collective memory in the Western world. Brandon, like other North American teens, has never heard of the genocide that killed over 6 million Jewish people in Europe during the 1930s and 40s. Brandon is one of the countless teens in the United States who is not taught about the Holocaust in school. It is not considered required curriculum anymore. On top of that, 66% of American millennials polled by the Claims Conference did not know what Auschwitz was, and 41% of Americans misunderstood the statistics about the Holocaust. The Holocaust Memorial in Berlin has been a polarizing monument since its opening in 2005. Marked with 2,711 stelae, or funerary markers, the memorial is a powerful reminder of the Holocaust and the crimes committed by Nazi Germany and its allies. The memorial itself is a very important place for people like Brandon to travel to and understand the events of the Holocaust. That being said, it is often not feasible. Therefore, Future Connection Studios would like to present Abstract. What if, instead of bringing Brandon to the memorial, we were able to bring the memorial to Brandon? This is what Abstract is. A virtual reality exhibit to bring the experience of walking through the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin to life for Brandon and other youths across North America. The experience alone of walking through the stele covering the space is moving, made even more so by an augmented virtual space. This project provided a multifaceted problem that we needed to approach with care. After doing extensive research, we looked into multiple avenues of what we could create within this memorial space, allowing users like Brandon to immerse themselves in the memorial and to wander through the heightened experience. Once Brandon puts on the headset, there's so much for him to explore. For example, he looks at the sky. Inside them, abstract drawings appear, different imagery of events related to the Holocaust itself. As Brandon moves through the memorial space, he will begin in what seems like any regular day in Berlin, with sunny blue skies. But as he moves further into the space, transported from each by interacting with portraits of Jewish prisoners, the lighting and texturing change and grow darker. The atmosphere becomes more somber and reflective, and eventually grows so dark that it is nighttime and everything feels cold, representing the journey of Jewish people throughout the Holocaust. Then, things lighten up again, and Brandon moves out of the darkness and back into the sunny, regular day, showcasing how insipid things can hide just beneath the light. To move through the scenes in the memorial, Brandon will interact with a series of portraits of Jewish prisoners. They will only appear after Brandon has explored and absorbed each section of the memorial, encouraging Brandon to take time to reflect on the environment itself. Brandon's journey in VR starts from the edge of the site to the center of the memorial, where the highest stelae are located. Brandon free walks among the memorial in the 4 meter by 4 meter physical space, moving through each scene by triggering the portraits. There is also smoke in VR to indicate the real world boundaries so Brandon can explore the space fully immersed. While exploring the whole memorial, Brandon will hear a variety of sounds and music that will play with emotion alongside the visual atmosphere. The sounds will help Brandon reflect on the stories of those we have lost. And now this is a glimpse into what Brandon would see.
Thank you for joining us here today, and we hope you enjoyed our presentation. This is the team, Isabel, Steve, Nia, Matthew, Anna, and Jan.